Hi everyone, so throughout this month I'll be doing relationship tips and if you're watching this for the first time, my name's Marianne, I'm the owner and counsellor at Marianne Hanson Counselling Service and in this relationship tip what I want to talk about is don't play games in your relationship. So if you check out my channel, Marianne Hanson Counselling Service, you'll see that I made a video called Five Games That You Play In A Relationship Where You Both End Up Losing and that was really around this idea that when people are playing games in a relationship, no one wins. You don't win as the person who's playing the game. The, your partner doesn't win. And the main reason people play games in their relationship is comes from fear or insecurity. So if you're fear, you have fears that that person is going to leave you or cheat on you or you just don't believe that the relationship is real or that things are going well. You might play games, so you might do things like pretend there's lots of other people interested in you, or you might play games where you um, put yourself on social media in a different way that you normally would, or it could be that you um, reconnect with an ex, or you um, do you just act differently. And the main reason you're doing that is that you want to show your partner, you know, that there's other opportunities out there you want to get a reaction from your partner or sometimes it's just because you want to feel good you want to feel validated and you're not feeling like you're getting that from your partner the issue with that is that in the temporary when you're doing these things or playing games you might feel good you might feel right i've done it now my partner has started paying me more attention or oh i feel good now because i feel more secure now that i've done that but in the long term, it's damaging because not only do you not feel good about what you've done when you're playing games, but also it can't be maintained. So your partner is then, if your partner is going to act in a particular way, they're going. that's what they're going to do. So playing games is not going to change that. So the main thing to think about is what do you want to get out of this? What is your end goal? What's the reason deep down that you're doing this in the first place and how can you communicate or behave in a different way rather than playing games that will still give you what you need? Ultimately, another person can't give us what we need. Another person can't give us security. Another person can't take away any pain, any past trauma, anything that belongs to us. Another person can't take away from you, but you can recognize and identify those things within yourself. If you want a loving, secure relationship that is with a strong attachment then you need to first work out where the attachment issues come from and why the insecurities remain the other person can't make you secure in that relationship you can make yourself secure in the relationship so yeah game playing doesn't work like for me as a person generally if i know that someone is playing games with me you know i've been in relationships where people will be saying um i mean this is years ago someone said are you going to buy me like a particular item and it was really expensive and i'm thinking well no i'm not because i haven't been dating you that long and also why are you asking for expensive items when you know you've not bought any gifts for me so then they said well i'll get it from someone else and all these other girls would buy it for me and i just thought well let them buy it for you then no one you know it's like game playing isn't it i'm trying to teach you where your place is i'm trying to teach you your value if you won't give me what I want, someone else will. Well, for me, I'll, I'll just say, go, go ahead then. You know, don't get drawn in to these game playing, drama and other things. So that's my tip for today. And I'll be doing tips throughout the whole of Feb. Thanks for watching. Bye.